brought to you by Dairy Development Authority, Ministries of Health, Education and Sports, in partnership with SNV with support from the Embassy of the Kingdom of Netherlands in Uganda. Hi viewers of Planet K, I'm your host, Keba Angel Zion. And before we welcome you to this exciting episode of Planet K, allow me to sip my milk. So welcome to this episode of Planet K where we're going to show you different and interesting episodes that we're going to be talking about milk. Different children are going to be reciting poems that tell you how to talk milk in different languages. For example, did you know that milk is called amate in Runyankole? So brace yourselves, go grab yourself a glass of milk as you see these children reciting wonderful poems and you sip your milk with them. Don't forget, Christmas is knocking at your door. So prepare your Christmas spirit, sit down, relax and enjoy as we bring for you more and more interesting episodes. Stay tuned on NTV. <laughs> Dear viewers of Planet Care, welcome back from that commercial break. Uh, let me hope you all are seated with your glass of milk before I show you our interesting things in today's episode. I won't say a word before you go and get that glass of milk if you don't have it yet. Let me hope you have got it right now. Our uh, dear viewers, this milk here you see is very important. I don't want you guys to go a day without drinking this milk. And I want to show you other very intelligent kids who sip and read. This milk here makes you very intellectual. I advise you guys to keep drinking this milk. It makes your brain very sharp. I want to show you my little viewers who will be reading as they sip. You know why they are very smart? They are very sharp. It's because of this milk. So don't move away. Sit and watch my dear viewers read for you as they sip their milk. Hello viewers of Planet K. Today we are going to read a story entitled... Where have you been? By Margaret Wise Brown. Remember, we read as we sip on milk. Little old cat, little old cat, where have you been? To see that and that, said the little old cat, that's where I've been. Little old squirrel, little old squirrel, where have you been? I have been on a wheel, said the little old squirrel. That's where I've been. Little old fish, little old fish, where do you swim? Wherever I, wherever I wish, said the little old fish. That's, that's where I swim. Little brown bird, little brown bird, where do you fly? I fly in the sky, said the little brown bird. That's where I fly. Little old toad, little old toad, where have you been? I've been way up the road, said the little old toad. That's where I've been. Little old frog, little old frog, where have you been? I've been sitting on a log, said the little old frog. That's where I have been. Little old mole, little old mole, where have you been? Down a long dark hole, said the little old mole. That's where I've been. Little old bee, little old bee, where have you been? In a pink apple tree, said the little old bee. That's where I've been. Little old bunny, little old bunny, why do you run? I run because it's fun, said the little old bunny. That's why I run. Little old mouse, little old mouse, where why run down the clock to see if the tick comes after the talk? I run down the clock. Little old rook, little old rook, why do, where do you look at the very last page of this very same book? Say the little old rook. 
That's the end of our story. Hope you enjoyed it. Remember, we read as we sip on milk. Bye bye. OMG, I've never seen such smart kids as the ones I've seen read as they sip their milk. Hope you guys have also enjoyed that. Have you seen they were reading as they sip? Dear parents, this milk care makes your child very smart and intellectual. You've seen these dear kids there. They were reading as they sip. This milk keeps them very sharp. It keeps their brain very active. It keeps their brain in the mood. Now, if you don't give your child milk, they're going to miss out on a lot. This milk here does wonders. I advise you parents not to stop giving your children milk. It helps a lot. So uh, that's it for today on our read and sip, sip segment. Hope you guys will not leave that chair. Get another glass of milk. Refill it if it's, if it, uh, uh, it's done. Before the read and sip segment, please go and refill that glass because we are bringing for you very many more interesting activities on our show here. Thank you. Anushka. Thank you so much, Shina. Should I tell you something shocking? Uh huh. Hmm? I almost finished this cup of milk before I even reached. This milk is too sweet. Unbelievably too sweet. It has its own miracles. And thank it God it does. has no overdose. You can take it. All day, all night, any day and night. Any temperature, cold, normal, hot, any, as long as it's milk. Because milk is so, so nice. Parents, don't stop giving your children milk. So, Anushka, what do you have for viewers today? Um, I came here to tell you guys, the read and sip segment was so amazing, by the way. Milk. Those children know how to sip, they know how to read, you know? Very They're intellectual like, because of this milk. Milk does wonders for sure. Parents, take notes. <laughs> so I'm here to introduce the poem that these kids are going to give you. You're going to learn new languages. Because did you know that English in Nyakole is Amate? That's so shocking because I'm also learning new languages. Amate? Yes, Amate. Wow. Dear children, please tell your parents, Mommy, Daddy, I want milk. If they refuse, you'll be like, I want to become stronger, healthier, and wiser. So I want you guys not to move away. Go refill that glass of milk and come watch with us as we see very many kids tell you guys milk in different languages. Very exciting, right? I, I, only, I think you guys only know milk. Maybe some of you don't even know Amata. Temumani Amate, sit, relax, and enjoy as you're going to see very different kids. They're even going to tell you the uses of milk, how milk makes you wiser, stronger, healthier. Dear Bacho, your parents have two children. They 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 have two children. That's so surprising because mujhe dood chahiye. Excuse me, what? I was trying to communicate to my community, telling them that they should tell their parents to get for them milk because milk makes them healthier, wiser, and stronger. No, let me just embrace my culture. Aba gande yo bazade ba angete muela bila kuwa abana ba mu amata. Gana amata gemu la ba galunji nyo. Omana o gana mu la banga gana kusomelo only straight A's. Temu eno newe balita mani ba zongeza sente na ye we we yo akasente kofu na kakatini. Omana gendo muguli la amata. Thank you. Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm fine. What is your name? I go join me alpha. Which school do you go to? What have you come to present for us on Planet K? I've come to present a poem about milk. Do you enjoy milk? Yes, the milk is here. You too? Yes, and mine is here, my milk. Let's enjoy.
our young ones. Did you see how they told us English? How we, we can say milk in different languages? Amatsa, amatse, very different styles. They even told us that milk makes us healthier, stronger. Did you see the way they showed you the way they are strong? It even boosts your confidence. Dear parents, provide your children with milk. Let them enjoy. They'll handle things much better. With this milk, this milk is just one of a kind. They enjoy it, so please give it to them. So allow us to go for a short commercial break. Planet Care will be right back because I know that milk is over. Because that milk is one of the kind. I know it's almost over or it's already over. So go get another cup or another glass and sit back. Because Planet K is coming back. Welcome back from the commercial break. And if you know you've not refilled your glass of milk, you don't know what you're missing. Or, you know, this glass of milk, I've been sipping my glass of milk while I've been watching Anushka and Sheena telling us that milk has no overdose. For me, I did not know that milk has no overdose. And I've also learned that you can take milk anytime, anywhere, and as long as it's boiled and safe. So as you've heard, the interesting children have been telling us that milk makes us wise, strong, and even makes our brains very sharp. So keep drinking milk as we bring for you more and more interesting episodes. Hello, children. Hello, teacher Musebeni. Hello, hello. Now, before I sit, can we cheers? Cheers! cheers. Ha, ha. Very good. Ah, ah. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, the Cham Seven is getting old. Do you see? Milk is pouring here. Sorry. Can we first drink? Uh, is there sugar? No. Yes. Did they put sugar? Sugar is in the milk. Yes. So milk has its own sugar. Yes. So how are you? We are fine. Guy, you look healthy because of milk. Yes. I don't. Yeah, now, today what we have is quiz. Is what? Quiz. Quiz. We are going to have oral questions about milk. And then you tell me and I see whether you have understood what we mean by milk. Yeah. Not so? Yes. For example, which color is milk? Why? Yes. Baby, tell us the answer. White. Very good. Milk is white. white. Um, can you tell me? some of the milk products. Milk products, some. Cheese. Cheese, very good. Be loud, be loud. Yes? Butter. Butter, mm -hmm. Yogurt. Ghee. Ghee. Mm. Yes? Ghee. Yogurt. Yogurt, uh-huh. Cream. Cream. Uh, yes. And others, ETC. Now, tell me, the foods which we buy from the supermarket which we have at home and contain milk for example what speak speak water has milk no. any food that contains milk what we buy and eat like what bread, bread very good in the morning i saw milk bread very good uh huh Biscuits, then you. Cake. A cake. Hello. Uh, uh -huh. Chocolate. Porridge. Porridge, yeah. By the way, we put milk in the porridge and eat. Mm. Cookies. Ice Cookies. Cream. Ice cream. Uh -huh. Obushera. Porridge. Not so. Cream. Cream. We put milk in the cream and we call it ice cream. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But by the way, let me ask you. The other time we were boiling our milk here, what happened? It Why? It, it was boiled. Yes? It evaporated. It evaporated after boiling, you know so? And I was just there talking to you like you know, you know. Eh, hey, milk was going. <laughs> Not so? 
but do you put mil- uh, um, sugar in milk? Yes. Huh? yes. I visited someone and was putting five big spoons of sugar. And even he could test, can you first test? Could test and say, mm. bring more sugar, it is not there. Really. <laughs> What do you think is the danger of having all that sugar in the milk? Hey, you know even the danger. Like what? Oh, oh, very good. That person will get a disease we call diabetes. That is when the body fails to control all of that sugar we are taking in. Not so? Yes. The body will say, ah, ah, you mourn, you girl, you boy, you old musei, we are tired of your sugar, so have the effect. Suffer alone. And diabetes has no cure. When you have it, it will kill you. How many spoons, for example, do you put in, in this? How many? Yes, two big ones. Hey, two small ones. Uh-huh. A half of a spoon. Yes? One and a half. Two small ones. Suppose you just drink without. What happens? And then, and then it, it cannot be sweet. It can even it is sweet without. But we just add so that. Have you ever taken syrup? Yes. Why do you think that they make it sweet? Why is it sweet? So that they put sugar. They put sugar. Why do they put sugar there in the syrup? Yes that we enjoy and take that medicine, not so? Yes. So that you don't fear. To make it sweet, so that when you are taking, you don't fear, not so? Yes. Yeah, so um, we, sh- we are continuing to talk about milk. We have seen the poem we have been reciting uh, for babies, for adults, and others, not so? Yes. And we have to thank God, because for us we are able to get what? Yes. Milk, which we are sipping now. Can you like thank God for this milk? Can you do this? In a moment of silence, can we say, God bless the milk we are going to take. I mean, can you take milk? We have finished the prayer. And I want you to say that milk has it all. Everybody say, milk has it all. Have a good afternoon. Continue taking the milk. So let me leave you and go with my milk, and they are going to add me milk here, not so? So bye. How do you say? Bye, bye. teacher. Hello viewers of Planet K, I hope you have read and seen a lot from Read and Sip. So today we are going to go through practicals. Most of you have big compounds, big gardens, just sitting there at home. You have gardens in your villages with your grandmas doing nothing. And they have very perfect soil, you can do lots of stuff with them. So today teacher Noah is going to help us go through how to make a nursery bed. And it is very simple. You are going to see my friends, they were making nursery beds here. It was very simple. They had lots of fun and they did many, very, many, very, many stuff. And they are going to show you, and you're going to go through that stuff. I welcome you all to this program we are having this afternoon. First of all, I'm Noah Mukalas. So you, you call me teacher Noah Mukalas, not so? Yes. Uh, we are having this program. Uh, I, w- I would like to see all of you when you're paying attention, maximum attention, because there is a lot you're going to learn from this. Is that okay? Uh, you are seeing, yeah, I think you are seeing this work here. Do you know that uh, people make money out of this? Yes. Uh-huh. And then you are at home, you are there with your, your parents. So you can do this. This can be done by even you. Even you see this one. That's why we have involved everyone from down to all of you. Even those ones of P6, I'm seeing them there. So all of you can do this. Not so? Yes. Uh-huh. So I want to see you when you are attentive. Is that okay? So, this program is about what we call compound gardening. Everybody say compound gardening. Compound gardening. Compound gardening. gardening. Yes, now what are we calling compound gardening? We are combining two words here. Are we together? As you can see, it is within the compound of this police cell. Are we together? Yes. Yes. This police cell was utilized instead of 
wasting all this space here. Are you together? Yes. Some of it was utilized so that we have this set up here. Are we together? Yes. That's what we are going through. People can earn a living from this small piece of what? Land. In this, uh, why are we having compound gardening? I've said that uh, number one, we utilize the little land we have in town. Are you together? Yes. Then number two, we can have something to eat because you know people, people are struggling these days. I think you have had your parents, some of them when you're in your homes, you have had some of your parents when they're saying, ah, now we have got the, 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 the food, but now the sauce, you get it? And even they might have got the sauce, but now they need to spice it. Are you together? We have, we, I think you have seen, who can tell me? Which type of plant is this one? Sukuma week, you see? Already you know this is Sukuma week. Then we have another one. We have this one here. Who can tell me this one? You raise up your arm. You raise up your arm. You need to be organized. This one. Yes. Nakati? Thank you for trying, but it's not Nakati. Yes? That is spinach. Thank you. That is spring. Spring, thank you for that. That is spinach. Are you together? And we said this is Sukuma week. Do you know that this Sukuma week here? You see this one? Yes. This one has grown for over a year. That means that when you start harvesting it, let me say like after three months when it has grown, you harvest and keep harvesting. You just keep getting off these leaves which have grown, which have grown, you get it off, you leave others to grow. It continues growing. Are you together? Like that, like that. So that means it can keep a family when it has source at home or even what to add within the source, if you already have the source. Is that okay? Yes. Then, number three, if we leave that one, we have said we can sell to the neighbors afterwards. Are we together? Yes. We can sell to the neighbors and we earn some little money. Some people, from this, we, you can make 10,000 and above a day. 10,000 shillings or 20, so long as the people who are nearby can come and what? Buy. Buy. And you, you know we are in town. People are lacking sauce, people are lacking what to eat. So the market is coming up. Is that okay? Yes, you can get more and more market. Are we together? Yes. yes. And very many other advantages. Because if we look at this, this is a vegetable. This is a what? Vegetable. This is a vegetable. That means that we have a lot of food values from this. You need this. Is that okay? Yes. yes. So there are many. It actually, the advantages of having this in your home are endless. Are we together? Yes. Now, today what we are going to go through is how to start up this project. Because we, are not, we don't want to just talk about it. Are we together? Yes. We need to start off. How do we come up with compound gardening? gardening? How do we come up with these gardens in our compound? What we are calling compound what? Gardening. gardening. How do we come up with that? So, the beginning of this, are we together? Yes. It starts when, when it starts within your mind to, de to, to decide that I'm going to do compound what? Gardening. And you get determined. You get what? So, now, the knowledge I'm going to give it to you. What we are starting with, what we are starting with is what we call preparing a nursery bed. Mm -hmm. Who can tell us what is a nursery bed? We learn these things in class and we don't get time to have them practically. That is the advantage we have got within this COVID period. Because now we, we have a chance to see this. Most of the time we just learn them in class. A seedling is so this and this, but you have never seen a seedling. But now we have it here. We are going to have it here. Is that okay? Uh -huh. Now we are talking about a nursery bed. Who can tell us what is a nursery bed? Nursery and then bed. Yes? A nursery bed is a small garden where seedlings are kept before being transplanted to the main garden. Your answer is good, but uh, give it time. Let us go slowly. Uh -huh. Tell them. A nursery bed? Mm -hmm. A nursery bed is a small garden where seedlings are kept. Sure. Are kept? Before being transplanted. Should we say are kept? Yes. A nursery bed is a place where yeah. seedlings are raised before being taken to a main garden. Where seeds are raised before being taken to a main garden. Mm -hmm. Yes, okay, we can say this is where. If you say raised, you know, this is not about crumb work. You're correct. Is that okay? Yeah, this is where seeds are first planted. Where from the level of a seed, are you together? They first grow under uh, conditions which are, uh, which are favorable according to that stage, up to when they can withstand this sunshine we are seeing, 
the rain, that's when we take them to the main what? Garden. So this is where, this is a place, this is a garden, a small garden, where we first plant our seeds and they grow into seedlings before we take them to the main garden. The reasons I've told you that so that we, they can first look, reach that level, whether they can withstand this sunshine and things like strong wind, rainfall, rainfall. Mm -hmm. which other one? Mm -hmm. Too much sunshine. Too much sunshine. I've talked about floods in case they are there. Huh? And some, sometimes what? Yes, they have stones. Is that okay? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So even drought. So here we give them some, we make sure that the conditions are what? Are favorable. Is that okay? Yes. So what we are going to go through, I'm going to have some of you because we, all of us cannot gather here. I'm going to have some of you. And then we go through how to come up with a nursery bed. All together, yes. uh, others you're going to be observing as I give guidance to those ones who are going to uh, lead others through. Is that okay? Okay, lift it up. Uh, this, that is our water we shall use for watering the seeds. Is that okay? Yes. yes. So we are going to go through how to set up a nursery bed. Is that okay? Yes. yes. Okay, let me have Cyprian. Uh, uh, Yes, I know everybody. Okay, at different stages, I'll be picking you. Don't get worried. Is that okay? Uh, Cyprian, you come. You come. Uh, you'll be there. I, I'm going to remain with you. Yes, you are going to remain. And you and Joseph. And Ayebali. Let us first have those ones. So that we don't all congest here. So that what we are showing can come up. Is that okay? Okay. Mix the soil. Uh -huh. Repeat that answer for them. We did. We mixed the soil with the manure. Are you together? Yes. We mix the soil with what? Manure. Because now when you set up the sticks up, are you together? Then you don't have that chance. So let me bring some manure here. We mix the soil with some manure. Is that okay? Remember the two methods of how soil is formed. You can remind us. How is soil formed? One by? Mm. Through decomposition. Decomposition of organic matter. Are you together? Yes. yes. Withering of rocks. So this one is by decomposition of organic matter. matter. Organic matter, what do we mean with organic matter? Things which have been having life, but they, uh, after they? Dead animals. Aha. Uh -huh. Living organisms which had life, but when they die, they decay. Is that okay? Like this, put in within. You pour all of it. It's okay. But you mix. Mm -hmm. That's enough. The first wait. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Also, you do the same. Uh -huh. You mix the manure, slowly, slowly, take your time, uh -huh. and uh, I think that's enough, that's enough. What we do, now we are going to set up the what? The nursery bed, right together? Yes. I said you should have each of these, these are like poles, each corner, is that okay? Hey, you wait now, I had called you for, you wait, eh? Okay, hold up, huh? Uh -huh. fix it in. Make sure that it stands well. Yes. Make sure it stands well because the target is this one into this one. Are you together? Yes. Uh -huh. Ah, you, you have not taken a good observation. Are you seeing the stick you are using? It is not branched, so it cannot hold it. that way. Hey, you put this one. You help her. Uh -huh. That's it. You can pour there some water if it is not fixing well. Uh huh. Okay there. So, are we seeing others what we are doing? Yes. So far we have all got the main poles from each corner. Are you together? Extend, extend it behind. Are we together? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So, now, you see this one has overraised others. It means it is not suitable. It is so high. Are you together? So that means you fix in something like this. Is that okay? is going to be so low, we can use this one, I think. Uh-huh. Let us see. Can we have it? At least. Now, who can tell us? What do you remember? What is the next thing? Hmm. Water? What are we going to water? Can you water what is not there? Planting. Not yet planting. Hayebali. Eh? 
Yes, we are going to put something on top to cover. Remember we said that why are we putting these seeds here? Is to prevent them from those harsh what? Conditions. So, pick those extra sticks slowly. Others extend behind. Extend behind. You wait a bit. Uh -huh. That's it. Is that okay? Slowly, slowly. Uh -huh. That's it. Joseph, extend behind. You extend aside. So are we seeing where we are? Yes. Precious and the, uh, my friends there. So what is next? Uh -huh. Yes. So the next stage is, is planting the seeds. Is that okay? Yes. yes. The seeds, we put them in rows to be to reduce on the, on the crowdness of the plants when they grow up. Is that okay? Yes. Uh -huh. So we put some linings. Even you can use your fingers. Is that okay? Uh -huh. So, Ayabare is going to put the seeds together. Yes. Are those seeds? So, we plant the seeds in lines. Those ones we call them rows. We call them what? Rose. And that is called row planting. Everybody, what? Row planting. Uh huh. Okay, thank you. Ayabare. That dry grass. Not so? Yes. Uh huh. So, but remember that when you put the seeds, you cover, cover a bit. Is that okay? So that they don't relieve them on what? Don't talk. Is that okay? That's it. That's enough. That's enough. Remember, we don't want them to be so down. Is that okay? Uh huh. So, we get, let us get a dry grass. Precious. Now, now, those ones who have been participating, let us move aside. Let me have another group. Uh huh. Wait. Yes. Get little of uh, some few of them. You bring. Uh huh. Uh huh. Slowly. Uh huh. Slowly, slowly, that's it. Uh -huh, that's enough. You wait. I want a few people. Don't rush. Uh -huh. Don't rush. Don't rush. That's enough. That's enough. That's enough. That's enough. That's enough. Thank you. Hey, because this pole wants to go off. Eh? Uh. Are we studying that? Are we seeing? Yes. Okay. People say to, hello, Ayabale, and your friend, hey, hey, you, what you're pulling, it will put it down. Is that okay? Yes. Now, the last stage we are going to have is which one? Mm. Hmm? The last stage we are going to have? Watering. 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 Is that okay? Yes. Yes. Shalom, you come and do that. Yeah. Uh, I want to give everybody at least a chance. Eh? Yes. Uh-huh. So... We are using, you see, even you can use the such. You don't need to have, first have a, 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 a watering can. Is that okay? Yes. You can just use a simple bottle like this one. You do the watering. You are going to use your fingers because, you know, a watering can is having some holes. It is porous. Is that okay? So you are going to use your fingers so that the water does not go direct to the sea, to whatever. Is that okay? Even you can do the watering that side. Slowly, slowly. Make sure you don't knock it. Is that okay? Uh-huh. Yes, uh -huh. so that we provide them with... Okay, so I want to thank you so much. Cyprian, we are here. I want to thank you so much for attending this series. Are we together? Yes. The first stage of compound gardening. Are we together? Yes. Uh -huh. Who can tell me what you have learned? One thing which you have learned at least. Uh -huh. Yes. How to make a nursery bed. How to make a nursery bed. Yes. That is who? Muchiv is saying, I've learned how to make a nursery bed. How to plant seeds in rows. How to plant seeds in rows. These things, we have been learning them in class, but you know now they are done practically. Is that okay? Yes. Uh -huh. Leave them on top of the soil. Uh -huh. Not to leave them on top of the soil. So, for today, yes, Precious? Okay, the last how chance goes to you. How to make the shelter? How to make the shelter. How to make the shelter to, 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 to protect them from direct what? Sunlight mm -hmm. and other harsh conditions. Is that okay? So I want to thank you so much. I remain teacher Noah. Next time I want to welcome you again when we call on you. Come, we have the other stages of compound gardening. Is that okay? Thank you so much. Yes, let us have a hand clap for this. Hello viewers, I hope you have seen and had fun as these children were making nursery beds. I hope you have seen they were having so much fun and I hope you are also having so much fun as you are also practicing with them. So I have my friends here, they are going to take us through and they are going to tell us what they learned from how they make a nursery bed.
Yes, Sierra, please tell us how they make a nursery bed. Yes. They form soil with deco, deco organic matters, and weather stones. Thank you so much, Sierra Kyle. I learned that they 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 plant the seeds in mm -hmm. rows mm -hmm. and that they need care. Okay. The seedlings need care mm -hmm. and they shelter them mm -hmm. to protect them from rough weather such yes. as too much sunshine, mm -hmm. um, hailstones okay. and rough rain. Okay, thank you so much, Sierra. Viewers of Planet K, I did know that milk in a trolley is called chalk. Did you know that milk is called chalk in a trolley? Did you also know that milk in French is called julie? Well, I'm so surprised and I'm so excited that I'm going to learn more and more interesting words that we call milk in different languages. And always sip milk. Sip milk before you go to bed. Sip milk when you wake up in the morning. Sip milk while you're having lunch because this milk is so special and it's so extraordinary. My name is Kyla and let me tell you, I love milk so, so much. It's so delicious. You can take it anytime anywhere and it gives you it gives you energy and it makes you so so strong yes viewers as my friend keba said she she was watching me and shina and she almost finished her cup can you imagine even me i never knew that milk in a chole is called chuck that's so surprising. So, you know, we have started un unveiling mysteries. Like, it's so nice to know that milk is one of a kind. Dear parents, don't forget to buy for your children milk because milk is one of a kind. If us presenters are telling you to drink milk, imagine how you would be if you drink milk. So make sure you enjoy and take milk. Okay. Well, well, guys, it's been fun. We've come a long way talking about this milk mm, it's been real fun real exciting we've talked a lot of things about this milk uh we want to thank the hillside fraternity for allowing us to take our shoots from here thank you guys so much we want to thank mr shaba godfrey uh miss miriam we want to thank you guys for allowing us to uh promote uh milk from here it's been we are very grateful honestly uh thank we thank the kids who have been very participative and they've been very participative only because of this milk if not i don't know but we want to thank everybody who has been in cooperation in helping us promote this milk uh, we don't want you guys to move anywhere and because we will we might stop talking about milk on our episodes but it doesn't mean that you guys will stop taking it please don't stop taking this milk this milk is very important you need it in your bodies your brain needs it your entire body needs milk to function i don't want you guys to go anywhere in our next episodes we are taking you to the garden we are going to show you very little kids learning how to prepare a nursery bed it's going to be very exciting i don't want you guys to go anywhere christmas is around the corner i want you guys to prepare have fun as you keep watching our planet k shows <laughs> Is brought to you by Dairy Development Authority, Ministries of Health, Education and Sports, in partnership with SNV with support from the Embassy of the Kingdom of Netherlands in Uganda. In this time of COVID, what is your promise to the children of Uganda? Because a violence-free childhood is everyone's right. Raising Voices. Have a lovely day. Thank you.